you run a profit trailer in this video I'm going to show you how to install VSP right now How are we doing everyone? Once again, this is Dario from Media Box CNT, where we make technology simple easy. If this is the first time on the channel, you see the little M right there. You can press it right now and then you become part of Media Box CNT. Like always, all the useful links, what we're talking about in this video will be right below the video. So guys, how you doing? So let me show you in this video, it will be simple and quick. Maybe you want to run this in a different server because the power goes out, you you want to use your computer for something else. I think the best way, because you know what well, this will be running 24 hours, will be in a stable system. So we're gonna be I'm gonna show you how to install VSP. In this case, maybe you're running something different, but the general the installation is all the same. So if you follow my steps, you'll be like in less than 10 minutes running your profit trailer in a nice service 24 hours a day. And now you, your computer will be free to do whatever you need to do. Let me show you that right now. To make the life simple and easy, we're going to be using SSH. If you'd like to use the one I'm using right now, it's going to be right below the video. In case you never run this, just give you a pretty quick sample how we're going to do this. And we'll move right away to the installation. Besides, the whole thing is going to be done in the SSH. There, you're going to put your IP address of the server. Um, just Whatever you show you when you get the email, just put it there. It's a username. Most of the time it will be root or maybe something else. You put your password, then you save your profile, and that will be done. Next time you load, you load your profile. I mean, it works beautiful, real nice. All right, so let, let's move now to the SSH. I'm going to log in in a second. So we are in already. And soon you open up into a screen, so one way you can browse to the files. In my case, I'm going to be installing this in the root directory. And some people say not secure enough or whatever. But I don't want to go crazy. I don't want to be going through too many directories. It's a simple program we're going to be running in the background. Um, so I'm going to be copy everything on, on the root directory. And right there we got a shell. So we're going to be executing some commands. Um, I'm going to run it real fast, so we don't want to waste a lot of time on the video. But you see, there's nothing there. I'm just a fresh installation. Uh, all these codes, the right below in the description, so you guys can copy it over and execute one inch to the next. That takes about a minute. I, I cut the video off. So we're going to be running some more codes. And by the way, if you guys want to use the service I'm using, it's one in German. Beautiful. It's like a a 99 bucks or 10 bucks or 10 euros it's worth a while i mean running already this over 24 hours no problem nothing crash it runs beautiful so right below the video will be uh uh the link if you guys are interested to get this i mean it's it's worth it it's a peace of mind and now you can uh, anywhere around the world you can travel travel anywhere and and get this straight out and you can control your your profit trail from anywhere so I think we got almost all the codes executed there. Uh, yeah, we got one more. Uh, make sure you always should put yes to execute all the codes. And it's nice because now you can run it. Uh, even I'm running this in my phone. Uh, I download an app, an SSH app, and I can see it running there. So when it's done, that's it. So this will complete the installation. So now let's... Let's do the first, let's change some uh, right to the file. Anyway, you're going to see right in the list. I'm going to copy it over and, and change the rights right now. It's only one file you need to change uh, your rights. Anyway, before we do that, I need to copy my uh, files. In this case, I call this uh, P uh, Profit Trailer, so PTV of Enhance. And in case when I run in uh, Bitrex, I call it P, PVX. Um, you can call it whatever you know. I don't want to put the whole directory again. I want to make it easy to be able to browse into it. So copy it over. Now, before you copy, I will say, make all these changes in your computer, whatever you use, a PC, Mac, whatever you want to use. Make all the changes. When it's done, you just copy it over and they say, now, this is not the, the full installation. I have another video. We have the full installation for the first time. This is already running. 
and you feel like running out on a different system. You just copy it over. If it's the same file, if you're running Windows, you're going to be copying all these uh, scripts and everything to, to the main server now that's running uh, Ubuntu. That's the only thing you need to do. Um, I just change your right right there, by the way. It's only one file. And the only change I'm going to make there on the, M in the PM2 file, I'm going to rename, uh, you're going to see in the first line, because I like to do that, so it makes needed when you have to look for the ID, the processor's ID. If you see there, I call it PT Binance, and the next one I'm going to call it uh, uh, Btrex, or whatever you want to call it. It makes it easy, because when you search for ID, we're going to put... We're going to put uh, PM2 log or LS to show you the process. It's going to show you nice. And you're going to see in a second uh, how we're going to do that. So we are ready to run. So let's type the, the first command to execute it. I just say CD, by the way, to the directory. You need to do that the first time. And I'm going to copy straight my line. Then you're going to see right there in the video. That's it. And it's running. You guys see the ID there? You see how nice it looks? PT, Venanza, it looks real nice. So now we can type PM2 log 0 because it's only one running. And you see that it's running perfect. If you were in another process, then we'll be, I'm sure we'll be uh, PM2 log 1. Now, how run there? You can close those shells anytime. We'll keep running the background and uh, open another one and you can see what's going on. You can see the status. I, anyway, in the video, again, I keep it all these codes. You can execute and see the process. was real nice. Uh, what I'm going to show you now, actually, what we did, we run in now Bitrex and also Binance. And I want to show you in a second what's running nice and neat. So I open two shells here uh, and they're already running. So let's look the first PM2. We're going to tap LS and you see there how nice it looks. It's running beautiful, man. I mean, and if you want to stop anything, you type again PM2 and that will be log or uh, PM2 stop one or stop zero. And the other one, we'll run the next one. Now run, let's check the lock. This is already run in the background. You see, two put run in there. You want to run three, four, you can run as many as you want. And now let's go to the browser. We see there. Btrex running. Nice. You're gonna have to type the IP address. Remember it's no anymore you lock or IP address. Now let's talk to the next one. And Binance working perfect. That's simple, guys. That's simple to get this running in, uh, in another server.